Oh, shit. Uh, hey, guys. I uh, just got in uh, from a flight. Uh, so, yeah, this happened. scary I uh, I'm on a plane uh, that's depressurizing or was depressurizing uh, trying to hold the camera steady I'm a little scared but you know been depressurized uh, on on a Delta flight back from LAX to Austin Texas I, I just literally just got in now so I wanted to vlog it and share my experiences I don't know how common this is it's probably super common and you're like shut the fuck up but hey man uh, flying is scary sometimes it's exhilarating I love flying actually I shouldn't say it's scary it's, I love flying um, but yeah, <laughs> so that shit went down and I was like, fuck, and I'm a, an imaginative guy. And so a lot of stuff was running through my mind. In fact, uh, we, when we started the descent, it, that's when it happened. It was like the last 20 minutes of the flight and it seemed like we were going down a little faster than I'm normal, than, than I'm used to. And there was a little more shaking than I was used to. Uh, I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it or if it was just something completely different. But um, like I said, I have an overactive imagination. And I had tweeted earlier before we took off because I was excited about my seat having a lot of leg room. Because it was one of those small planes, you know, where first class has, you know, one seat on one side and two seats on the other side. I wasn't in first class. I was like the first seat right behind first class. But you know how the plane kind of goes crooked there and, and it goes back to two seats? Well, I was at one seat that didn't have a, a first class seat in front of me. And so I could like, I, I tweeted, uh, I got Bruce Lee leg room like I was doing a, a, a long kick or something. And uh, but everybody <laughs> slammed their luggage and their bags into my damn knees. <laughs> so that seat kind of sucks, actually. But like I said, my overactive imagination was like shit man if something goes down and we hit hard or something i'm gonna i'm gonna run into this uh, flight attendant i'm like <laughs> down that little hallway because i could see everything down that little hallway which i'm i'm kind of i was like damn man I, I wish there was a big old seat in front of me so i could just ignore what's going on so what happened is the cabin depressurized and the things came down and at first everybody was looking at each other like uh you know, nobody, it's not like the movies where everybody grabs and puts them on. Nobody knows how to put those things on, even though they tell you several times how to fucking put them on. Um, so you had to like, there's like a little elastic cable you snap off and then it's still attached and it doesn't inflate just like they say. But if you take deep breaths, you could actually feel a little bit of air in the thing. And so everybody was kind of a little freaking out. And uh, yeah, so... And we were getting closer to the ground, and uh, like I said, my seat, I could see everything what the stewardesses are doing. And uh, uh, one thing that I noticed was the lights. Uh, there's one blue light, whereas, you know, if you call the a flight attendant, and then there's one normal light where, you know, the boom, boom, where it goes green, and you know, boom, boom, okay, we're descending. But this time it went boom, boom, boom. And I was like, okay, that's too many bongs. And then it went from green to uh, yellow. And I'm like, I've never seen that go yellow. And it went to red. And I've never, I didn't even know 
that it could do that, it, that it, it had red light in there. So, boom, 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 it was a red light. And I was like, okay, why the fuck did they put that there to scare us? We don't need no red lights in the fucking cabin. Keep the red lights where the cabin is, all right? Um, but like I said, it's probably something bullshit, something routine. But, hey, I got a little scared. And as we got closer to the ground and uh, I pulled out my phone and I texted my dad. <laughs> I texted my dad I loved him and I I, I did a stupid tweet on uh, fucking Twitter that I just love all you guys, you know, and making my life awesome and get to do what I get to do and oh shit, am I going to break up here? Come on. Uh, it's probably no big deal. Uh, it probably happens all the time. I don't know. You guys have probably been through it a million times, but hey man, that shit was... Got your heart racing, dude, and uh, it was uh, it was also it was kind of stuffy in there. The the air went off, and uh, you know there's the smell of electronics uh, that that also didn't help either. But uh, I think that's just because that's the way planes smell when there's no fucking air pumping through there. Yeah. <laughs> And I know I've taken that flight a hundred times uh, from LAX to Austin. And uh, I know that at a certain point, they, they come in at an angle and adjust the plane. And the wing goes down real far. And I was like, oh, fuck. We're going to have to do one of these. And uh, that was a real scary part. When it did one of those, and I was like, man, I was just all this shit in my head. I was like, oh, it's rudder going to get stuck? I mean, what broke? I mean, why is this happening? And are we going to go back <laughs> But we did go back up. Uh, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but it's uh, it's uh, it's just funny to me. It was exhilarating. It was a good ride. Um, but like I said, everything was fine. So <clears throat> the st uh, flight attendants handled themselves awesome. Uh, they were like, uh, you know, it's just a precaution, just saying all the stuff they were supposed to be saying. Um, the captain never came on the intercom, never told us what's going on. I don't want him to. You know, you would think, oh, I want to hear from the captain, but no. I don't want to hear from the Whatever is going on, he needs to fucking concentrate. So, uh, it wasn't anything major. I, I, you know, I didn't feel in immediate danger. It wasn't like we were like, <laughs> like fucking, you know, like a P-52 or something in World War II. It wasn't like that where you were hearing those noises. That would have really fucking scared me um actually when we took off i heard like a real loud noise under my feet that i've not really heard before and i was like hmm but you know these are all, all it was an older delta plane and so i was like man nah, i've heard noises miscellaneous noises all the fucking time so yeah people were a little nervous and the ears were hurting uh the guy guys that were sitting across from me they said their ears were hurting real bad. Mine, mine weren't hurting too bad at all, actually. Um, and I'm just used to that. Uh, so we land, and of course, some people was clapping and stuff, I guess. You know, <laughs> it was crazy. And uh, we taxi. And I'm. Uh, it's funny because the captain never opens the door. <laughs> he kept the door shut. You know, usually how they open the door and they say hi to you and they greet you as you leave. No, the door was fucking shut. And uh, there was just one stewardess at the front. Usually there's more, but there was one. And uh, and I was like, fuck, yeah, I'm going to ask what's going on. So I asked, what happened? You know, did something break? And she was like, ah, we, we don't know. I don't know. The captain hasn't told us. Uh, and I didn't want to, you know, I was just happy to be on the ground. <laughs> and she was like, you could, you probably, you could look it up uh, uh, tomorrow or something like that on the Delta website. So, anyways, that was the Angry Joe Show plane scare vlog. Uh, but I'm back and I'm healthy. I was in, over there checking out the division for you guys, getting footage, getting a, 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 a interview for you guys, uh, which. I got some good stuff. It's an under embargo for a little bit, so it's going to take just a little bit for that to come out. And uh, I have a trip tomorrow, actually, to San Antonio. Joe's coming here early, and we're going to drive to San Antonio uh, and uh, film something. <clears throat> and then when we get back, that's when I'm going to pretty much film the top tens, which I haven't started yet. And just be patient. And previous top tens have come out in January. It's just last year and the year before they came out in December, so a lot of people were wondering where that's at. Uh, but I have been super busy behind the scenes working on my uh, the board game, you know, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and DBZ coming soon. Uh, check into that. Uh, but the top 10 videos are coming, and uh, I just want to say again, thank you guys so much. Uh, 
for you know the the job that I have and, and getting to go and do these things and, and ask the questions that you want so please follow my Twitter so you can see uh, shit that happens like this live as it happens and, and I also was asking questions on what you guys want to know about the division so definitely follow me on Twitter it's angryjoeshow.com no say um, uh, it's angry Joe show at angry Joe show <sighs> Cool. <laughs> what a weird vlog. But uh, oh, tell me if you have run into so Delta Airline review because I did an Allegiant review a long time ago. Look that one up. It's funny. Delta Airlines, ten out of ten. Would fly again. <laughs> My life. I'm still living. Ten out of ten. Um, so yeah, put your your flight stories there. I'm sure it's fucking super common, and you're like, oh, you fucking puss. Um, but yeah, it was, it was exhilarating and honestly, I'm kind of glad I went through it because now I feel like, you know, if shit like that ever goes down again, I'll, I'll, I'll be used to it and I can handle it. But anyway, it wasn't a big deal. It was, like I said, the plane wasn't going crazy or anything like that. All right, guys. Uh, so, um, I'll, I'll take those trips get back here on the weekend and get to work. All right. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show.